I've lectured auditing and assurance for about 15 years. So, I mean, I know the staff, you know, I know the staff. And I say to them, like, if, if I look at the questions and the case studies that you're getting, do you think I look at the question and just know the answer? And it's quite fascinating and a little scary that about 90% of them believe that I do. I just, you know, and I'm like, I hate to tell you that I don't. In fact, some of them scare me. Some of them are like, okay, we'll put that aside for another day when I've had more coffee than I have right now. I don't want to look at that. I don't know. I mean, I'm really going to have to work with this. I'm going to have to pull it apart and think about it. And, and my point to them is... You have to think about it. You have you to, have to got think to, about it. Yeah. In the exam, they're having to think about it. Yeah. But yeah. If, if we have the skills through knowledge of the framework, mm. if we have the analytical skills to understand the, the structure of the question mm. and, and the key words within it, I can normally have a go. Yeah, you know, yeah. I can yeah, understand yeah. The, the 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 experience because I have mm. been, I am regularly in uncomfortable situations. Good comment. Yeah, yeah, because that's not a comfortable situation for any of us when you're faced with something and you're like, "Good question." <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and whenever that, whenever I say a good question, I'm just like buying myself a moment <laughs> to think of the answer. <laughs> 